I'm Dulce. I love to learn, and I learn every day just like you. When I go out to explore, I love to fill in my adventure log. And when I find enough items, I get a shiny new sticker to remember the adventure by. Do you think you can help me? Sounds great! Today is such a beautiful day, so how about we go on a beach adventure? We can try finding some ocean items in my adventure log. Let's go! Whoa! Look! Sand everywhere! Look at the crashing waves! Ooh! There's a crab walking over there! Crabs are really popular on the shore because they can hang around both on the sand and in the water. Crabs can use their pinchers to eat and protect themselves from danger. Hey, look! I think I see a submarine. A submarine is like a car that can drive around completely underwater. Maybe we can use it to explore the life and wonders of the ocean. The ocean is such a huge environment. It is actually the Earth's largest ecosystem, home to more living things than anywhere else on the planet. An ecosystem is like a group of plants and animals that all hang out in the same area. Pretty cool, right? What's that noise? That sounds like... Whoa! I don't believe my eyes! Hey there, Dulce! What brings you out here? Hey, Mr. Sea Lion! I'm just down here to learn about the ocean with my friends! Well, have fun exploring. Remember, when you're in the ocean, always be safe. Don't go too deep, and it's always good to have an extra pair of eyes looking after you. Thanks, Mr. Sea Lion. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Do you think you can keep an eye out on us while we explore the ocean? Of course, Dulce. I want to make sure you're safe. Let's go. Wow, look! It's a kelp forest! Kelp forests are a super cool part of the marine ecosystem. They act as a home for many creatures, providing both food and safety. Hey, look over there! Do you know what that might be? Yeah, it's a shark! Let's be safe and admire from a distance. Sharks are one of the most amazing creatures down in the ocean. They come in so many different patterns and sizes. Some sharks are small, like the foot-long pygmy shark, and some are as big as a school bus, like a 40-foot whale shark, which is actually the largest fish in the sea. One of the cool things about sharks is that they have several rows of teeth, which help them to eat meat. As sharks grow and eat, they lose teeth, just like you. But lucky for sharks, they can grow as many teeth as they need. Sharks must have one busy tooth fairy. Let's check my adventure log to see if we can mark the shark for any items. Check this out. It says here, a carnivore is an animal that eats meat. Can we mark the shark in our carnivore box? That's right! We can! Woohoo! All right, let's see if we can find some more things to fill out the adventure log. Ooh! I think I see an octopus. You can always tell an octopus because they have eight tentacles. Did you know the word octo means eight? Octopi may be a little hard to spot because they are the kings of camouflage. Not only can they change their color, but also their texture. That way they can blend in with the rocks, plants, or whatever their surroundings may be. That helps protect them from other hungry ocean creatures, like sharks. Whoa! Look! It's like it disappeared! Octopi sure are good magicians. Maybe I'll invite one to my next birthday party. 
I'm sure he can do some bone chilling tricks. Which is funny because they don't even have any bones. Wait, that reminds me. I thought there was a spot to mark an invertebrate. Hmm, here it is. An invertebrate is an animal that has no bones. Since octopi don't have any bones, can we mark it for finding an invertebrate? That's right, we can! And now we only need one more mark to receive a cool ocean sticker! Hmm, I wonder what else we can find. Hey, there's a light coming from that dark trench. I wonder if someone dropped their flashlight. Maybe I can go fetch it for them. Hey, it's... it's moving! What's happening? That's not a flashlight. That's a fish. A lanternfish, I believe. Lanternfish often live in the dark, deep part of the ocean. But how is their light coming from their body? I can't make light. Can you? Maybe there's something in my adventure log that can give us some more info. Hmm... Here's something. Bioluminescence. This is a form of light that shines off plants and animals. They can make their own light using their own energy. These creatures are found both on land and in the ocean, especially in the deep sea. The animals down here often use their bioluminescence to find food, communicate, or to get out of danger. Let's mark the lanternfish for the bioluminescence box in my adventure log. Well, I don't know about you, but it's starting to feel a little dangerous down here. Mr. Sea Lion probably wouldn't be too happy about this. Let's go back up to shore where we can be safe and sound. Wow, what an adventure. We saw so many creatures! We met Mr. Sea Lion, passed through a kelp forest, saw a shark, an octopus, and even a lanternfish. I feel like we learned so much and had so much fun doing it! Let's see if we marked enough items in my adventure log for an ocean sticker. One for a carnivore, another for an invertebrate, and lastly, one for bioluminescence. We marked three boxes. That's exactly what we needed for my Adventure Log's ocean sticker. Woohoo! Thank you for coming along. I am so glad we got to fill out the Adventure Log together. If you had as much fun as I did, make sure to like and subscribe to come along on my next adventure. Have a rough-tastic rest of your day, and remember, like Mr. Sea Lion says, always be safe. See you later! <laughs>